Hey guys, Eileen Vick here for Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. This is my walkthrough of one of my recent books that I have published. It's called Adorable Animals Jubilee, an adult coloring book. 54 grayscale images and some line art. I so enjoyed putting this together for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, now, just to let you know, I have a, a, a Facebook group called Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick, where I broadcast every night, 365 days of the year, in fact, at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So that includes holidays. So if you are, know somebody that is looking for companionship, or enjoys adult coloring, come on in. All right, I have a master's degree in adult education, and I love, absolutely love, demonstrating different techniques <clears throat> of coloring, plus getting to know everybody. All right. Now, in my group, Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick, you also have the opportunity to create your own 50 page coloring book because I have PDFs that are in a uh, file folder there in the group. You pick out 50. So in other words, you can make your own book. Um, I charge $9.99 for that, $9.99. But it's a great way for you to customize. The other thing is, is if you have ideas for coloring books, let me know if you like sailing books, for example, or ships. I can do things like uh, putting one together for you. All right. So about this book, you may not share in any manner any of the under, under uh, uncolored <laughs> images. However, the neat thing is you can do whatever you like with the colored images. So if you want to color them and sell them, have at it. Have fun with the book. All right, so this is my coloring manifesto. You can read it when you pick up the book. And the other thing here, this is a special request on behalf of all the authors on Amazon. Please keep in mind when you are rating our books, we have absolutely no control over the printing quality. <clears throat> so, I would appreciate it, and so would the other, other authors, if you would not take off a star for review for any printing problems. We just, we have absolutely nothing to do with that and no control, so please be kind about that. What you need to do is just return the book to Amazon and they'll replace it. All right, let's get going here. Oh, this coloring book. is one of several that I've put together. Um, I've got Weird But Nice Jubilee. These are just to name a few. Eugene Ivanov Jubilee. This is an artist. Uh, I've got a Potpourri port Portraits Jubilee. So I've got a lot of books here under my name. You might want to take a look on Amazon and see what you like. All right, let's get going on this one. So this is Adorable Animals Jubilee, 54 images. Here's my first one. I love this one, no fishing. Is that not cute? All my images are personally selected by me. Now check this out, cross-eyed cat, fly. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Oh, man. I make sure the images are sharp. And what you'll notice about my books is the images go edge to edge. Cute little mouse with a quilt. I love the expression here. Then we've got an owl flying off a stack of books. Now, this is one of the images, is it? No, this would be a different one. 
I've got people to color images for me. I'll show them to you at the end. Isn't that cute? Then we've got a grayscale with a diver, the turtle, and the um, dolphin. I put these all together and compiled them, three separate images. I like to play around with the different images. Here's a teddy bear with little balloons. It's a clay image, actually. Lots and lots of variety. And then here's the cover image. Isn't that adorable? Just love it. Now, I gotta warn you, I'm gonna be using the word cute and adorable through this entire book as I'm talking about it. All right, so we've got a moose studying with a cane. Look at this owl, isn't that gorgeous? Now, I've got another book out called Hootie Owl's Jubilee. Now, I try very hard not to use the same image, but that image may be in there. But anyway, on this one, I've got a lot of close-up of owl eyes. Yeah, here's this guy. Oh, and this was the one that was done by one of my members uh, of my group, Colors, Julie Copeland. So that gives you an idea what you can do with it. She added all the brickwork in the back. But anyway, I really loved showing the close-up of the owls. Is that? No, that's different. I honestly don't know if this one is in this book or not. But anyway, I've done a flip through of this book. You can see it on YouTube. Oh, look at this one with the blinky eye. Isn't that neat? Love it. I actually may have not used... Oh, yes, I did. Um, yeah. I made a, um, I made a, uh, image out of it that has the raised sections on it. Gives you a different way to color something. But anyway, this is my owl book. And you, again, I favor clarity and close-up has a little bit of line art in it, too. Okay, back to the subject at hand. Then we've got a teddy bear. Textured. You could have a lot of fun with that one. Look at this. We've got two lions. Got a heart in the background. Just beautiful image. Then we've got uh, line art with the turtle and then the fish swimming around it. That's pretty nifty. Look at this. How can you not go, ah, when you see it? <laughs> And I hope my pieces do inspire you to do that, that you get a reaction out of it. Then we've got a little bunny rabbit on its back with a butterfly. Let me see. Yeah, it's not really this way, it's this way. Otherwise we'd have an upside down butterfly. Then I've got a beautiful peacock no, pheasant, pheasant. And then we've got a um, simple illustration. I've, I, in fact, I've got a book that I'm putting out that's nothing but illustrations like this. Pen and ink. So that'll be pretty cool too. So, that's a neat cow. Look at this. Who can resist the kitty with the butterfly on it? 
Isn't that beautiful? Then we've got a dog in a dress with a fan. Now, I thought this one was pretty cool. Don't let the darker gray scale intimidate you. I teach this all the time on how to color on darker gray scale. It's not hard and it looks absolutely terrific. This would look really cool colored up. In fact, if one of you do it, message me. Well, first of all, I'd like you to post it in my group, but message me because I'd love to see it. And we've got a nice, a, a nice pig here. Actually looks happy. And then we've got a dolphin with the water around it. This would be beautiful done up. Good image. Now I sharpen my images and I make sure that they look really good. All right, then we've got an, a snake here that is coiled around some roses. Interesting. I think if I were coloring this, I would do the roses first and then I would do the snake. Then I've got another owl with a little muffler and some hearts sewn on. Now, honestly, guys, how can you resist that? <laughs> then we've got, got a dragon whose ice cream is melting for obvious reasons. Yes, I have a sense of humor when I put these together. And then we've got a couple of little bats. Now, I like to range my images from more involved to uh, very simple. So if you don't feel like getting involved in a huge project, you can color something like this. Then we've got a couple of doves. They're on a fence. And again, I would probably do the flowers first and then the birds. Okay. Then I've got a little bit of Zentangle in here, a nice uh, shark. Now, if you're not thrilled with Zentangle, just color over them. Don't even bother trying to do the individual. And this one here also happens to have a treasure chest. Let's see what else we got here. Octop octopus or octopi, since it's one. And then our greenery around the outside. Look at those teeth. Oof. Then we've got three horses in different direction. Isn't that beautiful? You could really do this up beautifully. I've seen this picture in Zentangle. I like it a lot better open. Now, this one's kind of interesting. If you take a second to look at it, this little guy thinks he's on an island and he's on a whale. So here's his boat. He's beached it up. He has a fish on his spear. I don't know if you can see that. Zoom in. Zoom in. Yeah, check it out. So he's got a little fish on his spear. He's happy. And I feel sorry for him when that whale spouts. <laughs> Zoom out. Zoom out. That would be pretty funny. And then we got a cute little kitten. So I hope you're going, aww. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? I couldn't resist. 
Then I've got a beautiful be um, beta Siamese fighting fish. And again, I work very hard to put these together. I clean up and sharpen the images so they look great. And again, notice they go edge to edge. So you've got a lot of coloring area on my books. All right, check out that. And check out the detail. <clears throat> Zoom in. Zoom in. I mean, look at that. You can really see the scratches on his beak. Zoom out. Isn't that beautiful? Zoom out. Uh, porcupine. No. It's not coming to mind what this is. Little possum. Isn't that cute? And you've got all this decoration around him, including a little bow. Then we have a teddy bear in the ring. <laughs> Just cute. And then I've got a beautiful wolf. I love wolves. And I especially love pictures that have um, Indians with the wolf. I just think that combination is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, then we have an octopi. Check it out. And this was the one that was done. Let me show you on the back. Zoom in. Zoom in. Isn't that beautiful? Love the colors that Luba put on there. That's her nickname. Sylvie St. Ange. She did a really good job for me. Zoom out. Zoom out. Then we've got a um, moose in the forest. Now this one here, I edited out the Zentangle stuff. And that way you can go ahead and do your own fur des um, hair design on this. Sometimes I do that as I'll get rid of the Zentangle. Uh, then we got a cute little mouse with the roses. Now this one you could do with gouache paints. You could do this with eyeshadow and then colored pencil. You could do it with uh, gelatos. Lots of mediums that you could do this one on. Just cute. Check out this one. Our cat's having a great time. And what I like about pictures like this is you have to look at them for a while to really see what's going on. So we're dangling some kind of treat in front of the fish. The boat's in the background. Let's see. So our chair, we have a... Um, oh, why is this not coming to mind? Starfish. How cute is that? Love this little worm on a hook. And the good news is he's not on the hook. He's wrapped around it. <laughs> oh, hence the smile. Isn't that cute? Now, this leaves you a lot of opportunity to put things in the background if you want. I'm always encouraging my peeps to um, draw in their books and to add extras in here. You could glue fish on here, you know, little 
maybe wooden fish that you get from Amazon. So you can really decorate this up beautifully. Then we've got a seahorse. Isn't that adorable? I lengthened the uh, dripping ice cream on this. You could do a really neat job with this. Emphasize the tongue. Then we've got a nice little dough. Puppy! Look at the expression on this puppy. Now, again, grayscale. It's light grayscale. If you want to learn how to do grayscale, join my group. It's not hard. It really isn't. I help people all the time. Doesn't take long to learn it at all. Check out the humor in this one. Three cats in a meeting with a mouse as the boss. <laughs> Zoom in. Zoom in. Isn't that cute? I'd say he's being bossy. Zoom out. So yes, I have a good sense of humor when I put these together for you. Then we've got a fox or foxette or foxy lady. <laughs> In a dress. Smelling flowers. Okay, now, are you ready to go? Ah, look at that. Isn't that ridiculously adorable? How can you not want to color this? So cute. Then we've got a little cub checking out a butterfly. Then we have, now you gotta look at this a second, but we have a raccoon upside down in a, a tree stump. This was the cover, no, on one of my other books. Hold on, let me see if I can find it real quick. Zoom out. Here is a, here's an upside down fox here. This is in my Awesome Autumn Jubilee book. This cover was done by Maggie Russell. She's a member of my group, AKA Rat. She did a wonderful job on this. I like that upside down look. I just think it looks cool. Now this one, we have a cat with a bunch of birds and you'll notice the cat has some bread. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. So check that out. So I would color the bread first just to define this and then work the rest of it. I love this. Zoom out. Zoom out. Sometimes I wonder how I get my work done looking at all the cute pictures. Then we've got a um, another dough with a winter hat that's got a poofy on the top. Now guys, I hope when you're looking at this, you're imagining colors and how you would color it. Look at the expression on this dog. But no butterflies with this picture. <laughs> Isn't 
Isn't that ridiculously adorable? That's what I should have called my book, Ridiculously Adorable. Then for those of you that like um, chickens and roosters, here's a great one. You could be really colorful on that. And then I've got a close-up of a goldfish. Like I said, I love doing pictures. And then again, it's the entire page of the book. All right. And then is my thank you page. Zoom in. Zoom in. As I like to say, thank you so, so much for your purchase. I really do appreciate it. Zoom out. All right. And then, of course, we have our blank pages here. Now, you can reach me. Facebook, Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. You can also reach me at Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick at Charter.net. I definitely would like to hear from you if you buy the book. Here's the back cover. Zoom in. Zoom in. So the cat with the butterfly that you saw earlier, that was done by Moggy. Zoom in. She really upped the green in the cat's eyes. Oh, she just did a great job. Zoom out. Then we've got our um, dog with the dress. Then we have our no fishing. Zoom in. Maggie did that picture as well. I think you'd agree that she did a great job. Look at the turquoise blue. I love that. And then Luba. This is the octopus that I showed you earlier. Zoom out. Zoom out. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time. Again, this is my book, Adorable Animals Jubilee. And I hope you enjoyed going through and looking at it. Hey, thanks a lot for your time, guys. Take care. Bye.